I fucking love this joint. <laughs> Welcome, everyone, to the Corey Brennan Show. <laughs> Gonna smack you silly. It's a Will Smith episode. You knew it was coming. <laughs> I so- thought I was going to have nothing to talk about today. And the Lord doth give us this bountiful meal. The, bo- the podcast gods gave it to us. Oh, yes. <laughs> they rained down us on a five-finger slap. <laughs> Welcome to the show, everyone. My name's Corey Brennan. This is the Corey Brennan Show. Sitting next to me, JB. Mm-hmm. Behind the ones and twos, as always, Ryan Reynolds. We uh we got a lot to break down today. Mm-hmm. You know what happened. I'm not I'm not giving you any new news. No. Uh no. you know, Will Smith is the cuck lord. He is the the simp god. Oh man. He is owned. Fucking A, man. By his bitch. We're gonna talk about that. We're gonna talk about the Oscars. We're gonna talk about the Don't Say Gay Bill. We got a lot coming to you. Yeah, man. Um, all right. Let's you know what? Let's just cut all the bullshit. Let's just go right to the video of the of the slap. That's what we want to see, right? We want to see this. Okay. <laughs> you know, actually, before we go, let's just talk about what's happening here. Chris Rock. So Chris Rock didn't host this, right? He's just no, like no, a presenter. He's just a presenter. Yeah. Okay. I didn't watch the Oscars. Me either. Because I'm like, here's the thing. I'm just not super into watching like Satanists congratulate other Satanists. It's just not my thing. It's like, mm-hmm. listen, if you want to drink children's blood and then and and cut off chicken's head in a back room, that's fine. But I don't need to watch you all congratulate each other on live TV. Yeah. Um, unless you guys are gonna slap each other, in which case I'm gonna tune the fuck <laughs> then in. I'm on it. <laughs> um. So Chris Rock is on stage. He's making fun. You know, he's doing what a comic does. Yeah, man. He's a he's an actual comedian. It's nothing new. He's making fun of people. He's yeah. you know, little ribbon there, yeah, little, little ribbon little there. Light jabs. Yeah. yeah, nothing light crazy. Jabs. Nothing crazy. Okay, so Jada Pinkett Smith has her head shaved. Okay, <laughs> apparently she has alopecia. Don't care. So her, you know, she got the the cue ball going on. Keep cue. Chris Rock mm-hmm. makes a joke. Uh-huh. Jada, I love you. I can't wait to see GI Jane two. Now, do you know what G.I. Jane 1 is? Yeah, the chick who cut her hair off. I forgot, I forgot her name. What's it's her name? a movie yeah. with Demi Moore Demi where Moore. she yeah. it's a, where she's a soldier and she cuts yeah, her hair cuts off. Her hair off. Bald, right. Big fucking whoop de doo Yeah. Let's, you know what? That's enough setup. Let's play the video. Just let it go. You know who's got the hardest job tonight? Javier Bardem. Okay. And his wife. <laughs> this is good. <laughs> Uh, this is good. I don't know what happened. We just talked about no. his. <laughs> no, this is good. No, we're we're going to get there. We'll this get there. This is fucking awesome, man. You know okay, cool. <laughs> <Why>? <laughs> click somewhere. Any, click anywhere. Yeah, there, there you go. go. <laughs> there you go. Good guy. Wow, this is a That's this how it works. five star team. Okay, we ready? And the video. You got the hardest job tonight. <laughs> Javier Bardem and his wife are both nominated. Now, if she loses. He can't win. <laughs> He's a good actor, though. He is praying that Will Smith wins. Like, please. He's the uh, No Country for Old Men guy. Yeah, he's he's yeah. a beast. Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. All right? Watch, he's laughing. He's, he's laughing. laughing. <laughs> she's not laughing because she's a cunt. It's, that, was a, that was a nice one. Okay. Very light. I'm out here. Oh, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow. So unnecessary, wow. man. Can you play a slap again? So unnecessary, see, man. See, Chris Rock thought as all he thought shit was sweet. Yeah, he thought he was gonna play with him. <laughs> shit ain't sweet, partner. Oh, wow. Sure you can. Wow. Sure you can. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. Jeez. <laughs> Nick Wright's name out your fucking mouth. Wow, dude. It was a yeah. G.I. Jane joke. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. I'm no, going to. Okay. Go man. Suck it. Uh, so I can, oh, okay. Check, please. <laughs> <laughs> that was a. Uh, greatest night in the history of television. Bro, he's a professional. Yeah, dude. that's a professional. Okay. Man. All right. Um, that's crazy, man. I ought to beat his ass. I'm sorry, bro. Let's break that down a little bit. This is not defending his wife's honor. No. This is your wife owns you and you want to have a nice night later. Yeah. You don't yeah. want to have to deal with you just let him say that to me. Yeah. You just you, know, yeah. you just let him say that yeah. to me. 
Because that's what was going to happen. He's going to deal with that later. Look, you know what's, what? You know what you was going. What's the, all the things that will come to you when you shave your fucking head? You, yeah. you you look like a little boy. What what do you expect? Well, okay, so apparently she has alopecia. You know what that is? No, really, she has alopecia. Really? Yeah. I thought she literally. I, honestly, I thought she's such a free spirit that she just cut her hair. Well, here's the thing: if honestly, she did, I didn't know it doesn't like she's so irrelevant. It doesn't like her only relevancy is that she the cheats table, on yeah. someone who is relevant. Um, I didn't know. But so she has alopecia. So people are like, "Oh, you're making fun of a disability." Ah, uh, alopecia is not a disability. Okay, you doesn't stop you from doing things in your life. In fact, you can do more. She could become an Olympic swimmer and go against Leah Thomas. She has less <laughs> hair to worry about. She doesn't even need a shower cap. She goes whoosh, just go. You know what I mean? There's advantages. Uh, you don't ever have to worry about the wind. I have long hair. I when the wind happens, like oh my hair's gonna get frizzy. She doesn't worry about that no more. It's not a disability. Um, and here's the other thing: she is. Of the elite, so whatever she does is going to be trend-setting. If she yeah. shaves her hair down, yeah. it's trend-setting. She had the shit orange before. It looks a lot better now than it was when it was orange. Yeah. So to be like, oh, Chris Rock, he, you know, plays stupid games, wins stupid prizes. Who, who? He's Listen, it's a joke. He's a comedian. Will Smith is supposedly a comedian. That's what people wow. say. Yeah. He's a comedian. In my opinion, comedians don't make movies like Seven Pounds. <laughs> They make movies like The Black Knight. <laughs> so my question to you is, do you think Chris Rock actually knew that about her? Or that he just thought she just It doesn't matter. Her? But I mean I feel like I feel like in in, in Will Smith's mind mm-hmm. that his wife is so relevant mm-hmm. that everyone knows. I didn't know. I don't fucking know about her. I don't know right. about her stuff. I don't do any research. Right. So why do you think a man who actually has his life together, Chris Rock has family, got tons of money, you think he's doing research on you? He just sees a cut head. Hey, I, I can't wait to see G.I. Jane too. Quick little jab, yeah. funny, 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 keep it moving. And yeah, and people are like, oh, that past standards and practices. It sounded like some off the cuff. Like he just yeah, saw her and was like, up. there you go. That sounded like just impromptu, because it's not the best joke ever. It's not oh. the most clever shit, but it was probably off the top of his head. Yeah. Um, So, I mean, like, I see a lot of people being like, I literally saw a post that said, Will Smith is my hero. Like, I would never let someone talk about my wife. Dude, first of all, it's it, Will Smith loves to fancy himself a comedian. Part of that is taking a joke. By the way, the bitch cheated on you with August Alsina. Who? August Alsina. Who in the fuck is August Alsina? Okay, she cheated on you publicly, embarrassed you in front of everyone. She made you into a meme. She yeah. turned you into a meme. Yeah. You give a shit if this bitch gets made fun of for a bald head? What are you doing, man? It's so embarrassing. It's you just now you opened up your cuckdom to the whole world. Everyone assumed you were a cuck. Now they know you're a cuck because you embarrass yourself in front of everyone to to have this honor of like I'm keep my cheating wife's name out of your mouth. He graduated from from cuck. To, to the uh, what is that the victim last night? That's what happened. He's the victim now. Well, he thinks he's a victim. Yeah. He's not a victim. <laughs> well, yeah, he's a victim of his own cuckdom. Yeah, yeah. He you allowed, victimized he yourself. This shit to happen, man. I'm sorry. It's yeah, man. It's not. It's a, such a bad look. And anyone who's like, well, I know people can't talk about my family. You're not funny. Okay, no one's gonna talk publicly about your family. No one knows you. No one knows you. No one gives a fuck about you. And that attitude is probably why, oh, well, someone said something about my family. I'll just slap them. By the way, that was a fucking felony. Like, if we're just being real. He walked up to that motherfucker and smacked him straight in his mouth. Okay, imagine, let's just say I was there. A nobody. Let's just say I walked up on stage. Do you think I even would have reached Chris Rock? Uh, would I yeah. even have made it at a full sprint? Would I have made it to Chris Rock? <laughs> Big Bruno security guard would have had you on the floor. Bro. Fucking oh, shit, uh, the, the one, some wine scene would have been fucking my ass <laughs> about ten minutes later in a back room. I would never even made it to him. Oh, Will Smith walked up to him, slapped him in the face, sat down. Ten minutes later, wins award <laughs> for best actor of the year. <laughs> if that ain't white privilege, I don't know what the <laughs> fuck is. <laughs> That's celebrity privilege. No one has more privilege than Will Smith. He That's can just crazy. He can slap a legend in the face. A legend. Yeah. Arguably done more than Will Smith in oh, a lot easily, of ways. Easily. And sat down and no one did shit about it. He but that's the thing though. He he knew who to do who to do that to, man. He's not 
Dave Chappelle, who actually mm-hmm. guy who actually got some 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 fucking muscles on. He's yeah. not walking up on Dave Chappelle doing that. Yeah, what shit. if Joe Rogan said that? <laughs> you don't walk up and slap Joe Rogan. <laughs> yeah, I would love to see him. and take a wheel kick to the chin. <laughs> <He> go, <laughs> straight, <laughs> yeah, straight side kick straight to the gut. <laughs> like, come and, on. And man. here's the other embarrassing part about it: he slapped Pookie in the mouth. <laughs> Pookie, he couldn't knock out Pookie. Yeah. Chris Rock is maybe 140 pounds. Yeah, that's a smart but five, six. That's a smart brother. Like, Will Smith's not a small dude. Like, bro, a slap. He made jokes after a slap. Yeah. That's embarrassing. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. In, in every way you could be embarrassed in that situation, you did it to yourself. That was the that was the top notch light skin moment. That that right there. That the the, the, the problems with black people, right. the black light skin was dark skin. That was the Lightest of skin moments you can get right there. And I got to give my boy Joey Purse some props. He he put on Facebook. Oh, I saw that. He said, they're never going to let black folks back to the Oscars <laughs> again now. He goes, we're done. We're done. <laughs> Those white people look scared as shit. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, my God. The faces were amazing, too. No, Just yeah, everyone. Man. And the show, like, everyone, like, looking down on their phones yeah, and shit. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, my motherfucking phone exploded when that happened. I had so many people sending me shit, man. It was wild. <laughs> Let's talk about I want to talk about uh you know to me this is a great example of this is the shenanigans that happen when your girl runs your life. Mm. It's very clear that Jada runs his life. Like he doesn't live for him, he lives for her mm. and everything he does, right? Mm. This is what happens when the guy is not running the situation. Mm. Because here's the thing, if Will Smith was running that situation, and let's not be mistaken, he got up on that stage because she was mad. It wasn't because Will Smith was mad. He started laughing when he first He was laughing. laughing. So if he was in control of that situation and wasn't letting her run him, he would have looked at her and said, hey, it's a joke, babe. Relax. Mm -hmm. It's a joke. Maybe he doesn't know you have alopecia. Yeah. Yeah, You have stage four alopecia. Like, fuck, she's making such a big deal about it. Maybe he doesn't know that. It's it's a relax. It's a joke. Shh, stop, stop. Yeah. That's all he that would have happened, and then she would have been mad for a little bit, and everyone would have laughed. And people probably would have made fun of her for not laughing. But it's like now it's this whole drama. This is what when girls run your life. This is what you get drama. Your life is drama now. Now Will Smith, he could have had a great moment accepting the speech, and now it's this big solemn, yeah. embarrassing yeah. thing where he's like, oh well. Um, you know, I just I want to be a vessel exactly. for love. Yeah. It's, no, dude. This shit on his moment. This whole situation shit on his moment. Yes, he did it to himself because he doesn't have control of his fucking his fucking relationship. It's crazy, man. Quit le- quit letting bitches quit making them feed your emotions. Like she fed, he got emotional because she fed those emotions and got him going. Yeah. Oh, it was definitely. Like when he was like, get your, keep my wife's name. How am I fucking mad? Like he was emotional as fuck. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That, that whole situation was reacting. Like at, he was laughing. He had was a good time. He looked at him. He was like, hey, man. Oh, okay. I'm yeah, like, yeah. Cool. yeah. All, like, all right. I'll take care of I need to go slap him. <laughs> yeah. All right. I need to go embarrass myself. Like, come okay. Come on, man. All right. Well, I don't want to fight later. So, Jeez, please, man. I don't want my kids to fucking clown me on Twitter tomorrow. So, <laughs> I guess I better go up and do this. So. <laughs> Like, so, oh, so, so Tupac would have, uh, Tupac would have, sh- yeah. okay, let me go ahead and take care of that for you. Oh, oh, like, so <laughs> if I don't go slap him, you're going to talk about this for two months on Red Table Talk? <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm going to be 10 more memes? <sighs> okay, go. Okay, I'll go slap I, him. I'll just okay. <laughs> like, that's what he lives with, bro. Yeah. He lives with a girl. If my girl, like, if I was famous and she made a Red Table Talk where she aired all my business out live we on a TV problems. show. We got problems. Bro, you're not, yeah, you're not in my house anymore. We got problems. Bro. You're, you're going to air my shit out live? You're going to, the way I find out you cheat on me is through a live, like, where millions of people see it? That's so fucked up. That, she doesn't consider his feelings at all, oh, no. ever. Oh, no. She walks through life thinking She's her. Very, very toxic. Yeah, and people go, oh, you don't know them. You're making a lot of assumptions. I can assume because of what I see. Mm-hmm. That is enough for me to be like, oh, she doesn't give a fuck about any feelings other than her own. No, not at all. It's she's sick, man. <laughs> it's a sickness. It's like when you let a dog and and girls hate when I make this reference because I'm liking into a dog. I'm not saying you're like a dog, but when you let a dog shit on your carpet and you just let him do that, he's gonna keep shit on your carpet. It's cool. It's cool to him now. 
Like Will Smith fucked up. He let this a long time ago. He he can't be in this relationship anymore. If he wants a good relationship, he has to go start with someone else because he let Jada shit all over the carpet for years. Mm. And it started whenever Tupac was alive and her and Tupac are good friends, mm-hmm. and Will was jealous about Tupac yeah. and made a scene and, and caused problems, and she even separated from Will for a little bit because he was so crazy about it. From that point, she lost respect for him. Yeah. And you can tell she doesn't respect him. You can tell. Oh, yeah. She respects him to the limit that he makes her relevant. Yeah. That is the height of her respect for him. That's crazy. And now we're in this, where we, everyone, the whole world, there's not a podcast out there today not talking about of this shit. Of course not, man. He's clowned universally. That's what happens when your girl runs your life. You get clowned universally. <laughs> Ten minutes later, he won Best Actor of the Year. Check it out, man. Let's, let's check out. This is literally slap. Ten minutes go by. He's on stage again. Let's, let, let's break this down. Oh, man. Uh, Richard Williams... Um, was a fierce defender of his family. Stop. He's already, now this is not about him winning the award. It's I have to justify what I just did Mm -hmm. because I know I look crazy as fuck and I know she pushed me into this shit. So now I have to make it seem like this was my, this is what I'm doing and I, it's not even about the award no more. You see what I'm saying? All right, we continue. That's crazy. Through the waterworks. In this time in my life, in this moment, I am overwhelmed by what God is calling on me to do and be in this world. Making this film, I got to protect Ingenue Ellis, who was one of the most, the strongest, most delicate people I've ever met. I got to protect Sanaya and Demi, the two actresses that played Venus and Serena. I feel like he's stalling right now, trying oh, to figure yeah. out what he's, he's trying like, to figure out what yeah, the fuck to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm glad we got the same. Yeah, most of them. Yeah, okay. I'm being called on. See, he's going back. My life to act. <laughs> to love people. Except Chris Rock. And to protect <laughs> yeah. people. And to be a river to my people. What's that mean? No clue. <laughs> now, I know to do what we do, you got to be able to take. Abuse, you got to be able to have people talk crazy about you. In this business, you got to be able to have people disrespecting you. Okay, stop real quick. What has he had to endure with people talking about him that didn't stem from his wife? Nothing. Nothing. Literally nothing. Literally nothing. It was was the Tupac, Jada thing. That's it. That's all Will has ever been known for when it comes to problems and negativity. That's it. Yes. This is why, this is honestly why I think great men, and when I say great men, I mean men who have accomplished a lot. They're very successful. This is why they're so fucking choosy with who they spend their life with. Mm-hmm. One, because of access. They have access to a lot of girls, so why wouldn't they be choosy? Mm-hmm. But also because if you are a great man, you achieved a lot on your own, okay, and you bring someone into your life, mm-hmm. they can only incrementally bring you up okay it's like the king queen uh the king queen metaphor if a king marries the lowliest girl in the land what does she become queen Queen. if the queen marries the lowliest man in all the land what's he become king prince think about queen elizabeth right now her husband is not king her husband is prince charles wow so meaning a guy, wow. like, a guy's able to turn a girl into the, uh, in, in a monarch situation, right? Into the most, the loftiest wow. lady in all the land. Mm-hmm. But a queen can't do that for a guy. 
So it's like, but, and we're seeing in this situation right now, if you bring the wrong one into your life, she could drag you way down. Will Smith never had to deal with this shit. Will Smith was never the butt of jokes like that. No, nah, man. It's 100% from the drama his girl brings because he doesn't control that bitch. And I say that lovingly. You Will gotta Smith, control your bitch. Will Smith used to be dogged for being the nicest, corniest guy who didn't cuss in his raps, always positive. That's what he used to be. He used to be bagged on for being that. Yeah. Like, come on, man. That was his biggest uh, thing of like, um, you know, he was corny. What, what does that sound? My phone. Oh, someone calling you? Yep. Okay. If only he had a producer to go up and ignore that, but, you know. Cool. I don't want him to. I don't want him to hurt himself getting up over there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's okay. Now he's getting up. <laughs> cool. <laughs> wow. It's been ringing for the last thirty seconds. Ryan Reynolds, producer extraordinaire. Oh shit. Um. Yeah, man. His his girl <laughs> is bringing this stress to him. Yeah. Now what are you doing? Okay. Well, this is nice. He's gonna blame me for this for the phone call that I did not expect to happen. <laughs> He's gonna be like, well, you fucking put out if you didn't accept phone calls. I'm like, what the fuck did I do? Oh man. Okay. We're back on track. Go and keep going with the video. We're good, we're recording everything. And you gotta smile and you gotta pretend yeah. like that's okay. But Richard Williams. And what I loved, thank you, D. Denzel said to me oh, a few name minutes drop. ago, he said, at your highest moment, be careful. That's when the devil comes for you. And that's my boy, man. I, I, I love Denzel. I, I know, but I, I just hate this, like, self yeah, I know, yeah. congratulatory <laughs> horse shit. Yeah. Everyone clap. <laughs> it's like, I want to be a vessel. For love, I want to say thank you to Venus and Serena. I just spit. I hope they didn't see that on TV. Um, I want to say thank you to Venus and Serena and the Tyre Williams family for entrusting me with your story. That's what I want to do. I want to be an ambassador of that kind of love and care and concern. Um, <laughs> he knows he's babbling to too. Yeah. Me. I want to apologize to my all my fellow nominees. Um, <laughs> Can I pause it for a second? Yeah, pause. You know the. Do you remember on the Dave Chappelle sketch? When they had that button, wrap that shit up, B. Wrap that shit up. <laughs> like, what? Was, you know, it was on Dave Chappelle and like one of like sketch sketch um episodes. He was like, uh, he had a button whenever somebody had his little long ass speech. Oh yeah, wrap it button, up. Yeah. Right, some some Latino guy was like, wrap yeah. that shit up, B. Wrap, wrap that, that shit up. up. Like, yeah. He, you know, the the judge is talking to him and he hits it. He's like, the judge is like, what? He's like, wrap that wrap shit that up, shit Holmes. Up, man. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> wrap that shit up. <laughs> shit, come on. Yeah, they didn't play the music on him. They didn't want to get slapped. Yeah, that's the or- true. The orchestra guy's like, he <laughs> goes start smacking the shit yeah. out of every fucking body. Producers on it. <laughs> All right, let's continue. Is a beautiful moment, and I'm not, I'm not, I'm not crying for winning a, an award. It's not, it's not about winning an award for me. It's about <sighs> being able to shine light on all of the people, Tim, Jesus and, Christ, and dude. Trevor, and Zach, and Sanaya, and Demi. No one believes him. And Ingenue, and the entire cast. And Two crew, people are clapping. King Richard, and Venus, and Serena. Everyone's and awkward right now. Williams family. Um, Look at her. She's like, um. Do I cry, or do I? <laughs> she's like, clap, clap. <laughs> we don't want to get slapped. He's going to slap the shit out of you. better clap, motherfucker. Art imitates life. I look like the crazy father, just like they said. <laughs> I look like crazy father, just like they said about Richard Williams. Um, but love will make you do crazy things. Um, oh, it's okay he, then. He was expecting a clap for that one. He, he thought yeah. it was going to be the whole mother, thing. Um, a lot of this moment is really complicated for me, but uh, to, oh. to my mother. Um, I want to shout she out my future legal out. defense. She's had her knitting friend. She has a knitting crew that she's in Philly watching. <laughs> watching with. Um, 
That's cold, man. <laughs> um, being able to love and care for my mother and my family, my wife. Um, I'm taking up too much time. Yes. Uh, thank you. Look at her. She's so happy, that fucking this. bitch. <laughs> oh, I hate that bitch. Thank you for this moment. Like, thank yes. All right, let's yeah. stop. Can can you find just her face that we're just like, yes? She's like, yeah. <laughs> there you go, Look at, right there. <laughs> oh, I hate. <laughs> oh, God, shit. she bothers me, man. She's so sinister. <laughs> I've never seen someone so famous for fucking nothing. Name a movie she's in. Uh, exactly. Set it off. Set it off. When was that? Nineteen ninety six. Nineteen ninety six. What? Okay. What else was she a leading role in since then? This bitch is famous for for playing with dudes. <laughs> she led Tupac on. She led Will Smith on for the longest time. Then she cheated on him. This she does nothing. She's a fucking failure. She doesn't do shit. She her fame comes from marrying this dude, and now she has a red table talk. What the fuck is that horse shit? Where she talks to her fucking weird kids, and they perform Satanist rituals right before and after. Those fucking kids aren't normal. The only normal one, the only not famous one, is the only normal one. The older one, the older. Yeah, one, you know yeah. his name? No, nah. exactly. Nah, he's, he's the only fucking normal one. He's chill as shit. He's quiet. You know, <laughs> no problems. Yeah, like nothing. And then it's like, hey, where's Jade? No, oh, he's busy hanging baby alligators from his hair. It's like, dude, they're fucking. <laughs> <laughs> the weirdest family of all time, oh, shit. Uh, and you know Will's normal. You know he's just a dude. You, I get dude. He's just a dude mm -hmm. who's just getting caught up by a girl. We've all been around that guy who just gets caught up in that relationship where it's like, bro, what are you doing? She's just embarrassing you all the time. And he's like, oh, I don't know. I love her, man. That's what he's caught up in right now. Shit. Like I want to reach out and help him. He might slap you. He might, he, might slap me. he might slap me. But if that slap is any indication, he can't slap for shit. Yeah, so true. I'll be okay. I'll be all right. But it's like, God almighty, man. And then like he turned himself into a victim right there. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, people are disrespecting me. Motherfucker, don't run for politics because this is nothing. What if Trump just slapped everyone who just like was talking shit about? I mean, I'm sure he'd like I'm sure to. He would love he to. He doesn't have do the that, access. You know? <laughs> he has people. He has slappers. Yeah, he he has people does the slapping for him. But I feel like I feel like we're 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 skipping past a point that we no one's really talking about is fucking Chris Rock. Okay, he, he's was a professional, right? Taking it all, hundred percent. And he he ra ra rather than reacting like Will Smith did, he sat there and sucked it up and continued to be a showman. Mm. And then, and at the end of all that, he still has to look at his wife and his children in front in their, in their face, like, "Hey, um, so yeah, that happened. You just you just disrespected me in front of all my kids and my my wife, right? Just because I called your bitch bald headed, right? Like, it, it, like that's why I say like, he couldn't. That's that's what that's what enrages me, man. Because Will Smith, he we can give this this bullshit ass actor crying and all this other bullshit for this bitch here. But the idea of that is you disrespected another man in front of his family and in front of the nation, in front of the world, because uh -huh. you felt bad. Actually, no, you didn't feel bad. Your chick felt bad, so you automatically made you feel bad. That's bullshit, man. Well, Chris Rock has now deleted all social media, and anyone who's seen real beef knows what that means. They know what's coming next. You don't just slap a guy from Brooklyn with that many brothers and just expect nothing to happen. Uh, he might. I'm telling you, Will might need to watch out, man, because, like, I don't know, man. I, no, I mean, I, I don't think Chris Rock's going to do it. I'm, I'm just joking. But it's. I don't think he's going to do shit because, like, I feel like Chris Rock looks really good right now where he's just oh, like. Yeah. I mean, there's people being like, Will Smith's my hero, but they're fucking lames. Most fucking people are cucks like. And, and cornball. Yeah, man. exactly. All the people who do that are cucks to their girls, too, you know, so. But the. Uh, most people are like, wow, like Chris Rock really handled that like a fucking pro. Yeah. Um, yeah, man. I, and that's why, like, okay, let's talk about this. A lot of people think this is staged, which I'm not ruling out. Oh, it no. could be, but a couple reasons why I don't think it's staged. One, because on the live feed, they canceled all the audio after that. Mm. I feel like if it was staged, they would have beeped. Yeah, man. Two, it's really hard to de de like deliver a fake slap and receive a fake slap live one take. You got one shot to do it. <laughs> That's really hard to do and really risky. Like you're really risking looking at like r super low budget and corny if that goes bad. Yeah, you very know what I mean. True. Very true. I I just I don't. And what's <sighs> I don't know. The look on Chris Rock's face when that shit hit back. That what he was like. Whoa, whoa what the yeah. fuck? Yeah. 
Like people are like, well, he moved before he got hit. Well, it's like, yeah, yeah you can see it. Like <laughs> he's got like six three walking towards you. He's like, what's going on? He just did like this and smacked the shit out you. Yeah. Like, come on, man. Yeah. Let, let, let's. Oh wait. What which video is this? Oh yeah, let's play it back real quick. No, that no. See, he turns, he turns, but it's because Will gets ready to slap. That's why he turns. You know what I mean? Oh wow! Yeah, he he hit him. He hit him. You yeah, he hit him, man. That's there. Yeah, he hit him, man, for sure. God, man, he's a better one than me, man. Remember, I, like last episode or the episode before that, we were trying to guess. <laughs> what was going to happen next? <laughs> yes, do you remember that? Yes, I do. We were trying to that. guess what the next thing was going to be say Will Smith. to Fuck. distract us from Ukraine. <laughs> <laughs> and we got it. No one said Will, Sli- Will Smith slaps. Wow. Damn, I, went, I wonder what the odds were on that. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. Y'all, y'all need to watch more, man. We, we putting out some real shit, man. <laughs> Well, I mean, I still think Patton Oswalt touches kids, but oh, yeah, of like, course, of course, of course. I never <laughs> saw this one coming, man. That's wild. Sheesh, man. Well, yeah. you know, I really, I listen. I will be very happy. I feel like the only thing Will can do at this point is leave her. People will <laughs> congratulate him. I hope he says, "I couldn't handle that fucking bald bitch." I hope he leaves. He goes, <laughs> "I left her." Be- I hope he goes, "I left her because she's bald." I'm Will Smith. I deserve a full head of hair when I fuck. I hope he says that. I just won an Oscar, oh, damn it. What has she won? She was in Gotham, a TV yeah, show. Okay? Yeah, if yeah. I fuck a bitch, she's going to have a full head of hair, and it's not going to be a wig. He should say that, and I hope he does. Uh, I mean, Paul McCartney dated a girl or married a woman with no leg. Yeah, Don't, uh, doesn't Paul McCartney deserve two legs? Will Smith deserves a full head of hair. Uh, Go back to August Alcina, you fucking slag. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> um, we're going to do a quick break. We'll be right back. Hey, guys. Welcome to the break. How's the episode been? Has JB said something racist about white people again? <laughs> He's so silly. Well, look, guys. I removed ads because I care about you. Do you care about me? Well, then share this shit. I need you to share it. This episode you're listening to right now. Share it to everywhere. I don't care where. MySpace. I don't give a fuck. I just need you to share it. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of the show. Welcome back, everybody. <laughs> Welcome back. Um, oh, I took off ads. No more ads. I saw that, man. Yeah, man. Like, here's the thing. It's like the ads are cool and everything, but I don't really give a fuck. Excuse me. I don't really give a fuck about the ads. No. Like, I just want to have a good show for people. Yeah. Um, I mean, like, the money and shit, it, it, like, it helps us do things. Of but course. I would rather just make this as accessible and easily watchable for people as possible. Of course, man. Right? You know what I mean? Makes sense. So, um, yeah, I mean, if you still want to give us money, please do. I put my Venmo on the fucking shit. But, like, <laughs> just the way you could pay us back if you're watching this, I know we just heard in the break, but for real, man, like, Please share this shit. Please, Please like, uh, spread the word. That's what we that need. Helps, man. I mean, we we do put a lot of work into this, and uh, really, like, it, it, it's kind of sucked. The only way to get it out, I mean, we could post it, but it's like you really need people to share it. Yeah, that's the whole point. That's the only way the shit works. Really? Or get me on Rogan either way. That'd be fucking uh, dope yeah. shit. Seems to work for people. <laughs> um. All right. So a little more on the Oscars. Something I did not know. So Samuel Jackson had never won an Oscar before. That, bath, that blows my mind. So he won one this year, but it was an honorary. Like, it wasn't for anything. It was an honorary Oscar. That's crazy. Dude. Bro, that is so wild to me. Like, there's so many movies that I like just because. Like, I would not watch Pulp Fiction if Samuel Jackson wasn't in it. Just the monologue by it, like, alone in, in, in Pulp Fiction. That yeah, you did, like, dude. Come on. I fast forward to Samuel Jackson parts in Pulp Fiction. Like, I don't even like the other parts. I just watched the Samuel Jackson parts. He, he, came, he came from being a, a, a fiend. To being one of the, one of the most prolific actors, to to do it, and you will know that my name is the Lord <laughs> like, when I lay my vengeance upon <laughs> thee. <laughs> oh my God, That's dude! Are you crazy, kidding me? Man. It's fucking amazing. It's crazy, man. Or maybe I'm the shepherd, and you're the bad guy. Like, <laughs> he, he yeah. has to come to do. Yeah. like, dude, he has so many epic fucking legendary. Man. Yeah, man, and. And the one thing about him is that like, there's a lot of actors where like they're the same person in every movie. Mm-hmm. Like, Morgan Freeman is Morgan Freeman in every movie. He's yeah, a great yeah, actor, but, yeah. like, Samuel Jackson is Samuel Jackson, no matter what the time period is, in every movie. Yeah. It's 
Dabba dabba dooboo, the boo boo dooba dabbo. Is anything he says? That's the scale less than the it's Star Wars. We gotta get the Jedi <laughs> before Anakin kills him. I'm tired of these motherfucking snakes on this motherfucking plane. I wish you would have did that one. I'm sorry. That the fucking yeah. snakes on a plane was fucking terrible. Was <laughs> I like ter- that movie. Yeah, really? Yeah. That was such a fucking hacky dumb movie. I like that movie. Like the girl's in the bathroom and mm-hmm. she turns around, the snake bites her on her tit right on the <laughs> yeah. nipple. It's ridiculous. <laughs> fucking ridiculous. Yeah, I like that movie. Uh, Samuel Jackson, I mean, he's had some stinkers, but man. Oh, yeah. Dude, his his role in the eight, uh, Hateful Eight. Yeah, that was great. That was he great. He was fucking amazing in Hateful Eight. That was eight. great, man. Um, his, uh, fa- Django. Jackie Brown. Oh, Jack- Django. Django. <laughs> dude, he Killed was. Killed that shit. How, can we just make sure he hasn't won an Oscar? Can you type in. Has, I actually just did check. He is. Yeah, he hasn't won an Oscar. That was his That's first Oscar. crazy. Mm-hmm. Bro. He should have got something for Django. He, Everyone hated, every black person hated him and Django. He, he played it so perfectly. His he, the fate, the mannerism, the face was like the. He, he was dope. He man. played the house slave so perfect. Like, I mean, I wasn't there, for but he's what I imagine <laughs> a house slave would be. There. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like the guy who like just all the other slaves just want to kill because he gets treated he, so he well. He embodied it, man. He embodied oh. it. Just like well, the same thing can go for. What uh, what was that? Leonardo. I mean, he just got his. But look at the masterpieces he's put out. He just got it. Well, he got it. I mean, it was almost ten years ago now. Oh, really? Just it was ten years ago. For the Revenant. Revenant. Oh wow! I forgot how long it time was. Kind of weird for me. Oh no, you know, Revenant. It might have been 2016. So maybe like five, six years ago. 2015. 2015. 2015, That's that's still crazy though. Seven years. All them. All all the movies he's made. Yeah, he didn't win one for. He didn't win one for Wolf of Wall Street. He didn't win one for Inception. Gangs in New York, nothing. That's just he didn't win one for Gangs in New York. Catch and me th- if you can. Catch, catch me if you can. Oh, yeah. Catch me if you can. Fucking great crazy, movie. Man. Uh, you know, and it's weird too because he's like a super industry guy. Mm-hmm. Like Leonardo DiCaprio says all the right things, believes mm-hmm. all the right things. He's the helping with climate control. Or yeah, he has that's help. what I mean. Shutter Island. Shutter. Shutter fucking island. Shutter Island, dude. But it, the what, Departed. All these qu- the, the fuck Departed. The Departed. Yeah, that, that was a great fucking movie. How didn't he but win with, one for The Departed? But with all that being said, it kind of starts to the credibility of the Oscars, whoever these people are fucking voting. It started like they're starting to lose. They've been they lost credibility with me. Yeah. Like, come on, man. It's so this shit is so corny. And, and then like I had that I talked about like Satanists congratulating each other, but it's like it is just so self congratulatory and corny. It's like, bro, even Will Smith talking about how like he has to endure all this shit, like while an actual like genocide is going on right now in Ukraine. I was like, thinking that, like, come like, on, man. Like, what do you dude, like, what? And I, I hate those people who are like, whatever hardship you're going through, like at least you're not in Ukraine. But it's like to be at that level and be like, I have to endure all these things, and it's like name uh, calling, uh, dude, stop <laughs> name calling. Yeah, name you know, calling. you know, there's, there's like kids who got who were getting bullied, and and actually, like there was kids killed them, killed themselves. Like I think there was a teenage girl that was getting bullied, like a 13 year old girl killed herself. Mm-hmm. That's 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 enduring some bullshit. Yeah, you yeah. have a you live in a fucking mountain that you it's sculpted out of. Well, actually, it's like, not enduring. But well, yeah. well, you know that's it. Yeah, well, that's it. She's been she's endured it she, enough. Apparently, yeah. Well, yeah. not quite uh, enough, but you know, it's got dark. But like I'm saying, but I'm just saying, yeah. There's a lot more levels of having to endure bullshit, right? And just from the outside looking in, it doesn't look like you've endured a lot right. in your in your your new like your recent life. Yeah. I mean, of course, back in the day, you may have went through some shit, but come on, man. If Zelensky was like, you'd have no idea how much I must endure. I'd be like, yeah, okay. Yeah, that. <laughs> that makes I, sense. I like, you just getting that. bombs blown around him yeah, every I day. Can see like, that, okay. For sure. It's just tone deaf. They're all tone deaf, all those fucking Hollywood people. And it's just like, you know, yeah, Denzel told me three minutes ago, when you're at your top is when the devil's coming for you. Oh. Yeah, and everybody, everybody accepts this. It's like, stuff. dude, <sighs> you just smacked the man, right? Yeah, you just like, smacked him. You just assaulted someone. You just physically. assaulted a grown man. You just battered a legend. <laughs> <laughs> Your tears aren't gonna work with me, man. Yeah. That's bullshit. Yeah, that's bullshit. You know what's crazy. And look, I don't ever advocate violence against women. I just, oh, shit. I just want to make <laughs> sure we, we get that before <laughs> I say we this. Go. There we go. He slapped Chris Rock for making an alopecia joke, but didn't slap her for cheating on him and publicly talking about it. Seems wildly inconsistent. <laughs> Very, but very, I digress. Very erratic. <laughs> yeah, very I digress. Um, yeah, it's just 
A Grammy's the same way. It's just corny. It's just yeah. rich people congratulating each other. Yeah. It just sucks. Yeah. That's why there's no like comedy awards because comics are too self aware to ever partake in that shit. I would watch it though. I, I feel like oh yeah, I would want it to be uncut and just straight harsh jokes. Like there. Okay, can you look up uh, Jerry on YouTube? Jerry Seinfeld uh, uh, award acceptance or award speech. He he had a hilarious speech where he's like, awards are stupid. Yeah. Looks like it'll be this one. Yeah. At moments like this, I would like to quote uh, my good friend Carl Reiner, who has often said to me, you don't give awards to comedians. <laughs> First of all, comedians don't need awards. Awards are for people that are looking for work. We're not looking for work. If you're any good as a comedian, you've got tons of work. We've all got wrinkled suits and smelly shirts from packing and unpacking and schlepping all over the goddamn country doing 10 million different kinds of gigs. And secondly, and even more important, is um, your whole career as a comedian is about making fun of pretentious, high-minded, self-congratulatory BS events. You know what we're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. The whole feeling in this room of reverence and honoring is the exact opposite of everything I have wanted my life to be about. (laughs) (laughs) Ironically. I I, I really don't want to be up here. I want to be in the back over there somewhere over there saying something funny to somebody about what a crock this whole thing is. <laughs> yes, we are dumb. I don't want you to think that I'm not honored by this because I, I am. I feel very, very honored, and it's but it's just that awards are stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Every real estate office has some framed five diamond <laughs> presidential award thing by the desk. Every hotel check-in has some gold. Circles. Circle. People make fun of him, but he's a real fucking Bang comic. Every mm-hmm. car salesman's a platinum jubilee winner. And mm-hmm. Who makes fun of him? A, big a lot of comics. It's, yeah. It is. The hotel sucks. The real estate person is stupid. And the only thing the car salesman is good at is ripping you off. <laughs> and why? Because awards don't mean a goddamn thing. It's stupid. They're all stupid. <laughs> <laughs> all the award shows on TV. I mean, I mean it, honestly, it is beyond me that we feel the need to set aside a night to give out these jag off bowling trophies <laughs> <laughs> six times a year so all these Jeez. people can pat each other on the back how much, about how much money they're making boring the piss out of half the world. <laughs> and if I hadn't already won all these awards, I would not be talking like this. <laughs> 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 that shit. That dude's a good ass writer, man. The truth is that the comedians should be the only ones getting awards. We're the only ones that have to actually think of something yeah. original and funny and interesting to say. You know how hard that is? You know how hard it was just to write what I'm saying to you right now? <laughs> it was hard. This took a long time. But we can do it. We can do it. <laughs> that, that's good. I mean, we got the gist of it. That, yeah, man. And he's completely right. It's, it's, if, I feel like those who can do stand-up comedy, they fucking do it. Like Chris Rock can't do it. Uh, Will Smith can't do it. No, of course not. So he doesn't. I mean, here's the thing. He makes more money not doing it. Of course. But if he could do it, I'm sure he'd love to do it. Yeah. You don't think, like, what's more prestigious? That's why a, having a stand-up comedy special is so prestigious, because you you wrote it, you perform it, mm-hmm. you put it out. Like, it's a one-man show. It's really not, but it, that's the perception. It's yeah. a one-man show. So it's like whenever Will Smith is acting a role, that's something that someone wrote for him, mm-hmm. someone directing him on how to yeah. do it. it. You know, it's, st- listen, it's still impressive, but he's just, you know. You don't get the full fulfillment. Of, of actually putting the time and effort to do it. Mm-hmm. Someone's give you the right. I mean, of course, you can do your own thing. You could add your own different monologues to it. If, if you're good enough, you can right. add your own different. Well, instead of this, I'm going to do this. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, instead of the, I'm going to say and. Yeah, like whatever works for you. <laughs> yeah. But you didn't you didn't put it together like an right. actual comedian does. It's not your idea and all that shit. Yeah. yeah. That's what it is, bro. 
Anyways, I'm glad Samuel Jackson got an award. Yeah, man. Thank that, God. Yeah, I mean, it's an honorary. I mean, but, okay, if you got an honorary award, would that annoy you? Like, if that if that's how you got your Oscar as an honorary Oscar, yeah, it would. Because I mean, it, it, it's essentially like giving you know how all these rappers and they get like honorary master's degrees or doctorates from different colleges. Yeah, they don't go to school there. Right. They don't. They don't do anything there. They just give them. Hey, you come on, come down to the graduation. We're gonna give you the uh, a master's degree. Cause yeah. you're, cause you sold a bunch of records. Come on down. Exactly. Yeah. It's like, oh, thank you. You didn't earn it, but we'll <laughs> you give didn't it to earn you. it. But I yeah. give it to you. See, if Samuel Jackson w- was a comedian, he would have taken that time to rip them apart for not actually oh, yeah. giving him one when he deserved yeah, one. He deserves a lot of fucking rewards, man. By the way, who is the Academy? Like, who decides who gets those awards? That's a great question. Can no we Google thing. that real quick? No who question. is the Oscar Academy? Like, is it other actors or like? I, I thought that was the case. Oh, I think maybe executives, producers. I don't fucking know. Um, membership nine thousand nine hundred twenty-one people. So that's who Jeez. votes. Who votes on the Oscars? Yeah, click on that. How does it work? Who votes for Oscar winners? How do they fill out their ballots? It's electric. Fucking ads. Um, you can pull this up on screen if you want. Um, ever wonder how they fill out their ballots? Ba 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 ba. Sat down with some participants. Um, the members are of the Motion Picture Academy, invited to join their peers, and there are fewer than ten thousand Oscar voters. So they just mis- must be people. So like, you have in to the be business. part of that Motion Picture Academy. Oh, okay. How do you join that shit? Is it like a, a union? Uh, yeah, hold on. Possibly. We could probably figure out who's in it. Is it? Oh, they let you. They t- you, they can tell you who's in it. Like you can find that shit out. <laughs> Lil Boozy. That would be fucking hilarious. <laughs> Goddamn movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you gonna slap the man for a little bald head joke. <laughs> Goddamn stage. <laughs> he gonna make fun of you. Look at her ass, man. <laughs> she bald as shit. What he supposed to say? <laughs> 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 little pussy. <laughs> We're gonna pay homage to them every That's episode. Awesome, so. <laughs> um hmm. so it must be like Hall of Fame voting. We're like for like sports where like sports writers and okay, yeah. So the seventeen branches of the academy are actors, casting directors, cinematographers, costume designers, designers, directors, document documentary executives, film editors, makeup artists and hairstyles, music producers, public relations, short films, sound, visual effects, and writers. Caterers. So it's a caterers. <laughs> I, oh. I don't think. Hold on, I think we have this wrong. I think these are the seventeen awards or like the the seventeen breakdowns of awards you can get. It says academy branches. No, I I'm, 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 I think all those people, like, say you're... Oh, if you're an executive oh, or if you're a If producer. you're a film editor, then you get to vote. Like, if you get invited. So you must be, like, at the top of your fucking, you know. If you're one of the best costume designers, then you... Because there's 10,000 voters. There's 17. So not even 1,000 people from each branch get to vote. So you have to be the top, like, 500 or whatever in your mm-hmm. field. To get it, man. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, I guess that's who should be voting. But then... Here's the thing. When you go on Rotten Tomatoes, like the it's never like the it's very rare where the the critics and the fucking audience agree. Yeah. It's like Dave Chappelle special, it was yeah, like ninety six percent audience, but like three yeah. percent critics or whatever like that. Yeah. So it's like you're really just giving awards to people we should vote. That'd be awesome. We the we like That'd be awesome. The the people watching the video the movies should be the people voting on Oscars. I guess I think they're only that that only problem would be saying that we as common people don't have the aptitude to think of how a movie is supposed to be made and how certain scenes are supposed to be laid out. You know, so, no, that's completely true. Because yeah. if if there was like a bunch of squares judging comedy, exactly. I'd be like, they don't fucking yeah, know what goes into that. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's a good point. All right. Uh, let's hit one more thing before we wrap this shit up. Um, all right. We haven't talked about this yet. It's been going on. <clears throat> uh, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis signs controversial law. Opponents dubbed Don't Say Gay. So what this bill is is for grades kindergarten through third grade. They He's making it illegal for teachers to discuss anything with um, – gender politics or gender identity or sexual preference, stuff like that. 
he did not name it Don't Say Gay. The people who are against it named it Don't Say Gay because mm-hmm. what they're saying is you're not, the teachers aren't even allowed to say gay or like homosexual or whatever to mm-hmm. the students. Yeah. Okay, we're talking about five to eight year olds. Mm. There's no Don't Say Gay bill when I was in school, and yet my teachers didn't say gay. Yeah. They, didn't, they didn't need to be told not to say gay. Yeah. Like, I wasn't worried about who I like. I didn't, I didn't like girls at the time. I thought girls were gross when I was five. Mm-hmm. It's not you say, ah, oh, girls are girls, guys yeah. roll, you know? Yeah. Like, why are we pushing this on these kids to, like, make decisions on being gay or, like, even, war- like, you're taking their kidness away, their 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 innocence. Yeah. yeah. Like, and, and I guess one of the big things is, so if a kid were to go to a teacher and be like, you know, I think I'm gay or whatever, five to eight-year-old, mind you, mm-hmm. that then the teacher would be required to go to the parent and say this is what the kid said, but I feel like if I'm a parent, which I'm not, and my kid was like talking about that shit, I would want to know so I could talk of to them course. about it. Of course. Like, like if they're a, if they're an adult and they come to that and they don't want to tell their parents, that that's their choice. Of course. Man. But as a little kid, it's like that's the parent's job is to steer the child into what they think is right. Mm-hmm. Now, what one person might think that being homosexual is wrong. Okay, another person might think that belief is abhorrent, but if it's your child, you should have the discretion to imprint what you want your child, whether other people think it's right or wrong. Like, at, oh, sorry, go ahead. I was like, at that age, man, parents are there specifically to instill principles and morals into this this child. Right. So why wouldn't like no matter like I said, no matter what you may think is right or wrong, man, but. If they if the if the thing if the parents think it's just they want to make sure they put that into this kid's mind so knowing that when they grow up they know that well my parent was there for me they they did this they sat down talked to me about it that's what it was yeah that's the whole point of a parent honestly. like your, your girl is a kid right yeah and she's young like mm-hmm. five day whatever mm-hmm. when, if they were talking about this wouldn't your girl want to know that so that she could deal with that with her kid of course like this this is so we talked about this yesterday. Like the whole woke shit is so unreasonable. Like this is not unreasonable, but yeah, it's a big like it's as if there's gonna be a cop walking down the street or walking down the aisles being like, Did you say gay? <laughs> Did you say it? Okay. On the next class. Who said gay? <laughs> it's like that's not that's what they want you to think the bill is. It's like, hey, I'm just saying, because here's the thing. There's a lot of fucking weird teachers out there yeah. who are like some yeah. Mrs. Fritz motherfuckers. Remember Mrs. Fritz yeah, yeah. from the, what was that show? Magic yeah. School Bus. Magic School Bus. Yeah. That was a good show. There's a lot of Mrs. Fritz looking bitches crazy. out there who are like talking to six-year-olds being like, I think you're trans, honey. Yeah, like, don't, don't. Just I think don't. you're a gender binary, non-neutral, whatever. Like, it's. Yeah. They're, they're pushing their beliefs on children that's not theirs. They're, right. they're, their job is to. And make sure they know what A, Teach a them B, math. C, D, one, two, three. Like that's what yeah. their job is, man. Don't right. tell, my, tell my kids what they what you think they should know. Right. Like, as far as like when it comes to that kind of situation, man. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it all this is is a check and a balance to make sure those crazy motherfuckers can't imprint wild shit like that onto mm-hmm. someone who isn't their child. Mm-hmm. Like I think teachers a lot of times get like disillusioned as like, no, those are my kids. No, they're not. No, they're the not. state is paying you to watch them for wh- however many hours you're yep. in school for. Like, they're, they're not, not your, your kid. Not. So, if you, there's some terrible parent who wants to imprint something that we might all think is abhorrent onto their kid, that's their choice. Yeah. And when they get older and you see them on the street and you want to talk to them, whatever, but it's not anyone's place to, like, change someone's parenting. You know, it's a, it, and that's why we have so many fucked up people because there's a lot of fucked up parents, but that's their Very kid. True. Very true. If you want to imprint something on a kid, have your own kid. Yeah. Um, I mean, nothing about that's really funny. I just wanted to get that out yeah, there it's, since it's something a lot of people it's, talk it's about. It's an actual situation, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, all right. Next week we'll have Lil Boozy on. He's going to be on set. <laughs> um, he's going to be checking Boozy's live. We have the couches <laughs> over here. Um, we're going to have Boozy's out. Uh, oh, man. Will Smith is going to slap him in case he gets um, <laughs> out of line. Um, because here's the thing about the Corey Brand show is we don't tolerate alopecia jokes. No, we don't. Okay? We don't do that shit. Alopecia either. is very serious. Now, um, it's not life-threatening, but your hair falls out sometimes. And um, and we just don't stand for that. Okay? If you're going to make a joke, you make it about AIDS or cancer, not about alopecia. Jeez. Fucking monsters out here, you know what I mean? Um... Come see me April 7th. Uh, ba- uh, what's it called? Brush Creek Inn. 
and Warren Del PA. Uh, April 9th, I will be at JB's Roadside Grill, host or yeah, in Trenton, PA. I'm hosting those shows for Matt Light, hilarious fucking comic. Mm-hmm. Um, if you haven't seen him, you need to come out. If you haven't seen me, you need to come out. It's a lot of fun. We have, I have a lot of fun with the crowd. Um, you can get those tickets at CoreyBrennanComedy.com. Um, you can also get merch at the website, um, or I said at Corey Brennan Comedy, just Corey Brennan Comedy.com. No, no at. Um, but if you want to follow me on Instagram and TikTok, at Thank Corey God. Brennan Comedy. Um, follow me on Twitter, at I am Corey Brennan. Mm-hmm. Follow JB, at J Bizzle, TCBS. Mm-hmm. Um, follow Ryan and them screets. <laughs> in a dark alley. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, guys. Thank you for listening. Stay vigilant. Stay black.